All right, Jacob, thanks a lot. We have an update tonight to a story we brought you yesterday. We're learning more about a pastor who was injured after his truck was hit by a train in Monroe County. The driver of the truck was Willis Dobbs. And Dobbs wasn't the only one affected by this accident. Our Blair Schaefer was in Monroe County today. She now joins us live in the studio with more. Joey Dobbs is a familiar face in the Amory community. He's impacted many over the years, and his friends and family think it was his God-fearing spirit that saved him yesterday. And one man close by might have been Pastor Dobbs' guardian angel. God was with him. You know, it wasn't nothing, anything more we could do. I mean, if it was, we would have been able to get him out. That was the good Lord with that man. You know, and he, he should know it. The family should know he, he is blessed by all means. Dustin Morris rushed to the tracks knowing something wasn't right. Not only does Morris think a greater power was there, but so does Pastor Dobbs' friend, Reverend Elvis Mason. We really believe that God is always around, that God's spirit is available no matter where we are. When something happens, God is there no matter where you go, on the train tracks, burning building, whatever. Late Tuesday evening, Morris says a truck drove by, and he noticed that was something unusual. We seen the truck go uh, really fast through here, and you know that's the dead end right there. And we knew they didn't know where they were, and then we heard it crash. That crash was only the first problem. As we was running up there to check on the person, we heard the train blowing, and when we got up there, he was, you know, obviously dazed. A train was coming straight towards Dobbs' truck. His truck tires were flat and stuck in the middle of the tracks. We was trying to get him out, and he was hung. And I grabbed Damien, uh, my uh, cousin, out of the way, and we got out of the way. And he was miraculously just stumbled out right afterwards. After Dobbs escaped his truck, the train hit his truck, and his truck rolled over him. Amazingly, that didn't stop him from breathing. His head popped up, and I knew he was alive, and I run over there and applied pressure and did a uh, head check and wouldn't let him move. Dustin Willis stayed with him through it all. We talked about uh, his wife and his uh, kids and uh, the community, and it just, just kept him up there, and he was wanting to get up so bad, and I promised him, you know, I'm laying here with you, but we can't get up. This heroic act has many in Monroe County feeling grateful. It is a God thing. God is always around. We've called to check in on Dobbs' condition and have not yet heard back.